fantastic, it's beautiful. There's so many wonderful people here. I've met so many friends, old friends, new friends. I've had so much fun. I'd expect it to be good, but it's surpassed. It has been fantastic. I've had the best time I've ever had in my entire life. The food's been amazing. I've had lychees that I didn't know existed. I really didn't know that it could be that good. <laughs> Durian twice. Uh, lots of activities. That I've got new muscles in my legs that I've only seen in, in textbooks. I didn't know I actually had those muscles myself. <laughs> I had my first yoga session, which was amazing. I have never, I didn't consider myself a yogi. Exceeded all my expectations. I thought I'd arrive and there'd all be a bunch of hippies walking around with no shoes on. I've just met normal people that are like minded and it's just been inspiring from the minute I got here. Highlights would be listening to experts in the field, such as uh, Dr. Doug Graham, Anne Osborne, Chris Kendall, uh, all kind of sharing their knowledge that they've accumulated over. Uh, you know, decades of following this lifestyle. So I went to the one last year and the food was some of the best food I've ever tasted. The food has been just like exceptional, like I've loved the food. Um, my favourite has probably been the peaches, love the peaches and persimmons, they've just been amazing. I can't believe how open and loving and warm and accepting and what a great place and atmosphere. I'm Roger King and I've come here for the first time to this beautiful place to learn about raw vegan diet. But I've learned so much more than just about diet. I've learned about how I could change my life as I grow older. And really, as I've aged, I've often thought that I've got to get full of disease and become ill. With a raw vegan diet, I really see the possibility of regaining a lot of strength in mind, body and soul. One of the things that I've learned here is how young people are coming, children and all sorts of range of, of ages of people's different background and they've really brought a lot of their own stories. I think one of the things that you'll gain here is meeting people and hearing their stories. You'll get a lot of good information if you think about coming. You know, so often we are addicted to maybe smoking, alcohol, coffee, all these things. And we know that they're doing our bodies harm. Here you get the information and the inspiration to change your life. And I would love anybody who's watching this to think about their life and think about how would I like to change my life? Well here at this fruit festival in the UK and other fruit festivals you learn so much from very good information scientifically based and personal stories of people who've changed their lives from having cancer, diabetes and really just poor health. We have fun that is the thing that I think most of all, there's such a lot of fun. It's great accommodation and it's well organized. And last night we were around a campfire, just singing and doing all sorts of activities. So you'll make friends. And when you become a friend to yourself, you become, you become attractive to other people. You don't have to grow old and be grumpy. Thank you. I think the biggest shock and the biggest change about raw food that I wasn't expecting was that you automatically assume it's going to change your body. What you don't think is it's going to change your head and how you think. I think completely differently about myself and the world now than I did six months ago before I, I started this journey. Uh, it's been pretty, pretty dynamic actually. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've, I've only been on it, what, three months now, something like that, so I've only been a short term. But I mean, I kind of went from eating meat to vegetarian to vegan within a week, I, I think. Literally, I mean, I, yeah, I kind of said one day, I've decided I'm going to go vegetarian. Pam has been vegetarian and then vegan for a while. Just I sort of texted her one day, she said, I don't want And then... A few days later, I said, well, it's only cat now milk and stuff anyway, and cheese. So, so I said, I just will carry it, do the vegan thing. And, um, and then we just went straight to raw. So yeah, so it was raw. all kind of... Um, it's great to do it 
but it was, I found it easy. I also yeah. gave up caffeine, so tea was my, my <laughs> biggest drug, I guess. And I gave that up at the same time. I thought that would be hell, but no, it's, it's been, been a lot easier. It's a lot easier than, than I thought. Think. The other thing I've noticed more than any, well, what I was surprised about is how full you feel. Like everyone thinks, oh, a small salad or something, you, you're going to starve. But ever since we've been here all week, I mean, the food's been well yeah, amazing, brilliant. absolutely amazing. To the, to the, the I mean, top, I, I know it's top class stuff, and you can't necessarily get that everywhere. But to know that it exists, and if you source it well and, and uh, look about, you'll find it. And uh, and it's been I, brilliant to see what the what you can actually create. Is that everyone has this sort of yeah. thing? Oh, you just eat a banana, or you eat a lettuce leaf, and as it's been proved with the meals here every day, you can be so creative and uh, do so much more. And and that's one of the good things about coming to to the festival is that you come away with so many ideas. But it's ideas that you can spark off other ideas of your own. They don't like spoon feed you, and it's just like following. You can it actually gives you ideas to sort of spark your own creativity <coughs> and to go away and. Um, you know, experiment yourself. So but even learning the, as well as that, the training regime with with with, um, with oh, ground yeah. stuff. I mean, just the running. You know, all these different classes. We've been to, we've been to yoga. We've, you know, we've been, you've done all these different things and stuff. Running with Doug. And, yeah, and, uh, it's, it's been an opportunity to to just. Sort couldn't of, believe how many yeah. different things was going on here. We yeah. just you just think a fruit festival, which you know we were naive about it. We'd never been to one before, but and you've looked up at other ones online and stuff, but. No. But no, it's been an experience brilliant. which we want to repeat. Yeah, so. we'll definitely be back <laughs> next year. Well, I came by myself and I was a bit nervous about coming. And Ronnie had said, like, it's a big happy family. And I, I didn't believe him. But I can't believe how open and loving and warm and accepting and what a great place and atmosphere it's been. And like the food has been great. Like so many recipe ideas to take home because I'm sort of transitioning still so I'm not sort of fully raw at home so it's really helped me on my journey and then all the people you see on Facebook like you follow and like you know Ted Carr, Doug Graham you know they're here and they're talking and you can ask them questions and it's just brilliant it's just been brilliant yeah loved it and made so many friends and connections just been superb this is the longest I've been raw without breaking it uh, or without even just having a small piece of cooked food as part of a meal. And I feel now like it's the most natural way to eat. My body feels so clean. I feel so good. It feels so natural and right. I want to just carry on, you know, definitely inspired. It's been brilliant. Um, I've just, I've loved every minute of it really. It's kind of um, everything to the, you know, the talks, the food, the, the people. It's, uh, it's really, it's just been fantastic. The, uh, the people here, um, that was the, the main reason I wanted to come to a place like this, is to meet people that are like-minded, um, to share stories and uh, yeah, just, uh, just meet, meet other people that are doing a similar thing. It was wonderful. This is my first time in England. I've been to other festivals and um, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful location and um, the people are very nice as they, they are at most of the raw festivals. And I like this venue because it's... Um, it's a nice location, it's not too big, and so you really get to know the people who are here. I actually really liked the campfire last night. That was just amazing because it's toward the end, so you get to know people and um, kind of hear their talents and everybody gets to join in. It was just, it was a beautiful, you know, deep in the woods. Yeah. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Um, the defining point for me would just be, or two things really, the chance to meet other so um, many like-minded people. Um, share stories, share your journey um, to this movement and just hear their stories back. And it's just great to um, meet people with similar ideas and um, similar passions and just, just to share, really share and learn. And then two, just to listen to really, really high quality speakers um, in the fields, in the lectures. Um, you think like you've read the books, you think you know um, quite a lot, but you just learn so much more, a little tip here, a little tip there, and it, it can only help you your health and your continued growth. It's been a great time at the festival. I've learned a lot. I've met lots of new people, of course. Everybody's new to me here, apart from Doug and Ronnie, who I've seen on YouTube. And um, I'm loving all the presentations. Yeah, it's been really great. Yeah, met some new friends. Yeah, had some great fruit and there's been some really good activities to do every day. It's been really good. I think uh, really the people and the, uh, the speakers as well. It's been really good to get the knowledge. Yeah. What do you think, darling? Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. 
people, the speakers, the food, the fruit has been amazing. For me, just um, just meeting other people and also meeting other children as well, because we obviously coming as a family unit. Um, you know, just making friends with other vegetarian, um, vegan, you know, uh, fruit-based children is 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 like pretty huge as well. I've had like fruits I've never had before, like you know, um, there's dragon fruit, there's like durian, um, um, and yeah, it's been really interesting to have all that. Um, but yeah, it's just the quantity of it because normally I, I feel more restricted with it. So to be able to have like the unlimited quantities of it. It's really, really, it's just so liberating. Yeah. Because normally I'd probably be more like, oh yeah, let's not have too many mangoes because of cost and things like that. But we can just like have loads and loads of dragon fruit and not really worry about it. So yeah, it's really great. But I think just the community of everything and it's just sharing the fruit with everyone. Because I can just sit on my own and eat 20 bananas for breakfast, but it's just me eating bananas you know in my bedroom or something but when I'm doing it with other people you share it and you're talking about it and it's has that really nice sense of community. I'm going to take away um, just ways of planning my life better I think and just just general attitude of positivity and, and not uh, not letting myself get bogged down by things making more time in my life for um, doing running and exercise just um, yeah, just generally, and try and stay in touch with people. Uh, but it's made me go away feeling so clean after this this week that I, I don't want to go away and start putting other things into my body again. So I think it's really like giving me like a restart, like pressing a restart button. UK Fruit Festival was amazing. I made some amazing friends that I hope will be lifelong friends. I ate some amazing food. I feel spiritually, physically, mentally and emotionally enlightened. And I really can't wait to go again and just get stuck in further with this with this lifestyle and improve and improve and improve and just get better and better and better not just physically but like i said emotionally spiritually and mentally so i guess around three years ago i had really poor health i had some stomach issues i was bloated all the time serious pain i actually developed a bald spot in my hair um, I'm convinced that it was due to nutrient deficiencies. I was eating super poorly. I uh, went through binging and restricting cycles and I just had enough. It was really interfering with my relationships. I was self-conscious so I just started researching on my own and I found some people on YouTube who were eating raw and I thought it was the coolest thing ever and I knew that one day I would do it but I didn't even start when I found it. I kind of waited until I reached rock bottom and then I came back to all of that information I found and started applying it to my life and it's radically changed my life and everything I do now. Uh, I used to surround myself with people who didn't really contribute positively and um, now I don't at all. I've really let go of a lot of those relationships. I dropped out of college. I'm now self-employed. I moved to a warmer climate which is so much more conducive to eating fresh fruits and veggies and it's awesome to eat mostly local fruits and veggies and really I just have fun on a day-to-day -day basis and before I felt like I was in a trap having to do these certain things and now I just have so much more joy in my life.